Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from creativecodingclub.com and I want to thank you for coming by today to check out my SVG animation with GSAP course. I've handcrafted over 60 lessons to help you get up and running with GSAP and SVG. Now one of the best things about animating with SVG is that there's no CSS. You just grab some artwork and bring it to life with GSAP. Now for most front-end developers, creating artwork can be a challenge in itself but in this course, we're going to go over four different ways to create that artwork and animate it. We'll use Boxy SVG, which is a free SVG tool, to draw simple shapes and pants. What's great about Boxy is that when I select my artwork, I can go to the Elements panel and see the exact SVG code used to generate that rectangle. If I take this corner up here, and pull it in, you'll see the RX and RY values update, which gives me those rounded corners. We can then bring the artwork into CodePen and animate all those values with GSAP. We'll also hand code simple shapes like rectangles and ellipses and a few others, and of course, animate them with our familiar GSAP code. Ooh, how fun. You gotta start somewhere. We'll also dive into creating SVG objects with JavaScript code and of course animating them with GSAP. This will open up a whole new world of dynamically generated artwork. And you'll quickly learn I like to have fun with our newfound skills. And best of all, Boxy SVG comes packed full of clip art and icon libraries that make it easy to grab some images and start animating them. So let's take a look at some more examples of what you'll be making. Here, a plane follows a path, but also stays centered the whole time it's flying. Rewinding back, we're animating the view box to follow the plane. It's revealing a dashed stroke, and then we do a view box zoom. Very nice. Notice how these dynamically generated particles shift colors through the rainbow. When I click to pause, they slow down, and click again to speed up. We'll use this basic fish clip art with GSAP's draggable for this nice x-ray effect. Woo! This is a fun randomized animation of three rectangles moving over each other on a slant. We can click anywhere to jump to a random position and it's great for just creating backgrounds for slides or any type of presentation that you're doing. I could click all day, but let's keep moving. I just love the simplicity of this isometric bar animation made with just a few simple shapes and a mask. We'll explore this interesting animation from the UI Initiative logo that has this sort of gradient stroke mask effect. And we'll build our own perfectly scalable version using GSAP and Draw SVG. We'll draw further inspiration from this wonderful animation from Anya Melnick where all these intricate flowers just reveal themselves. And it's just so beautiful. Now I can't teach you to create illustrations with this level of detail, but I will show you how to create each part of this very simple flower in Boxy SVG. We'll then hook it up to scroll trigger so that we can pin the artwork and then reveal it on scroll. Notice how as I scroll up and down, we reveal all the different parts of the flower. I always say you gotta learn how to make the simple stuff before you do the complicated stuff. With Motion Path plugin and a simple stagger, we can have these wonderful green dots follow these gradient strokes with literally one line of code. And here, notice how the stroke goes around both sides of the circle. I'll show you a clever trick to get this done easily. And although animations like this may be seemingly simplistic on the surface, I'll show you some clever GSAP tricks to pull them off with style. In fact, it's examples like these that would be incredibly difficult to pull off with any other tools. And I love showing you how GSAP makes it easy. This lesson here shows you how to animate text on a path. One of the benefits of using a text element is that we can animate it on a path and very easily update it. How cool is that? It is awesome. And I absolutely love this lesson here where we took some design cues from the Greensock homepage. Each time you click on a dot, this fun wiggly line just grows to wherever you clicked. And I just love how it's really not a lot of code. At the end of the day, it's a timeline with two simple tweens. And for more stroke tricks, I just love how this here draws in from the center and then reverses out. That just gives you a super cool effect. 
And this next one, watch how this segment seamlessly loops around the star, all right? You can't tell where it stops and begins, and it just keeps going around and around. And for each of these effects, it requires just a little bit of a trick, and we keep building on things that we previously learned. And if you look over here to the code, I'm using one of my favorite tricks of keeping all those animations in a modular fashion and gluing them together into one timeline, which again, we can control with GS Dev Tools and even control the animating of the titles coming in. It's these sort of details that again, I love showing you how to do so you can build them yourself. And when we're done animating strokes around rectangles and stars, we can kick it up to the next level and do more complex things like this plane. And again, the beauty here is one line of code and we have this amazing output. And if you follow me for any amount of times, you'll know I love things that wiggle and bounce, all right? I just love the amount of expression you can put into text effects when using GSAP. And here we're just using SVG text that scales and bounces wonderfully. And to drive the point home even further, we can build cool animations where we're just animating three circles in four lines of text and have them look really pretty cool. And what do we have here in the code? It's just two simple staggered animations. Literally code that you could write after taking my beginner course. But here, the focus is on SVG and understanding what are all the bits inside this SVG code that make it work. Technical things like view boxes and aspect ratios, I do my best to keep it fun and show a variety of different uses. So I'm hoping some of that caught your interest. I've only shown you a mere fraction of what we cover in the course and I'm regularly adding new content too. So come on inside, check it out, and I'll show you how to get animating with GSAP and SVG.